was an opportunity missed. According to the New York Times, the FBI and police in Phoenix opened a new investigation into Elton Simpson several months ago after he began posting comments on social media about ISIS. Simpson had already served three years probation for lying to the FBI. According to the Times, authorities monitored Simpson's online postings last year and occasionally put him under surveillance. I'm not privy to what the FBI in Phoenix saw, but clearly if they if they thought that he was plotting something, there would have been he he would he would not have been allowed to likely even leave the state uh, if, if that were the case. Don Borelli spent 25 years with the FBI and specialized in counterterrorism. Another former federal official who retired as special agent in charge of the ATF last year says it's possible even with increased federal scrutiny, the two men kept their intentions airtight. There's been cases in the past where people that are radicalized, and we know this too from the July 2007 subway attacks in London, that through the radicalization process, they did keep this entire process to themselves. But what about 24-hour surveillance of Simpson? Borelli says that may not have been realistic for FBI agents, given the hundreds, if not thousands, of people nationwide who, like Simpson, make noise on social media about supporting ISIS. How do you triage? And, and that really is the million-dollar question. How do you figure out which one of these individuals is going to get in a car and drive to Texas and start shooting? The Phoenix FBI referred us to their office in Washington, D.C. A spokesperson from the D.C. office did not have comment today.